So last night, I was just going through my usual routine, you know, washing my face, brushing my teeth, laying in bed and thinking about how insignificant we all are in comparison to the massiveness of the universe, when I suddenly had this super vivid flashback to 7th grade lunch. And in the flashback, I saw me and my friends all gathered around a phone excitedly participating in the Hunger Games simulation. And so I came back to this website and just got hit with a wave of nostalgia. I don't know why this was so popular with me and my friends in 7th grade, but we thought it was like the coolest thing and we would put in all kinds of show characters and movie characters and even ourselves. So today I thought it would be interesting to try doing one of these Hunger Games simulations but with the characters of the Dragon Quest Heroes franchise. As you can see I've teamed them all up based on their alliances. Alright everyone, let the games begin. The Bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Desdemona runs away, Bianca runs away, Aurora runs away, Yangus runs away, Nina runs away, Maya finds a canteen full of water, Ragnar runs away, Cesar snatches a pair of says. Hey, that's what, like, Lazaro fights with, right? Angela runs away, Zaro, Lazaro, and Terry get into the fight. Terry triumphantly kills them both. Honestly, that's not too out of character for Terry. I'm the world's greatest swordsman. <laughs> Maribel breaks Isla's nose for a basket of bread. Yeah, don't mess with Maribel. I feel like that's also a very in character. Jessica runs away, Elena runs away, Dork runs away, Lucius runs away, Ruff runs away, Tornico takes a spear from inside the cornucopia, Mira, Therese, and Carver run away, Kirill grabs a backpack and retreats. Okay, so this is honestly very in character so far. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. Terry thinks about home. Mina tries to spear a fish with a trident. Aurora receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Ooh. Isla diverts Ragnar's attention and runs away. Jessica constructs a shack. Nira sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Maya makes a wooden spear. Elena sprains her ankle while running away from Dory. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Kirill picks flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so in character. You know, everyone could die, but Kirill's still like, well, maybe I have a chance to impress Elena. This might finally be my big break. <laughs> Lucius receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Yangus, Bianca, Caesar, Tornico, and Desdemona hunt for other tributes. Teresa questions her sanity. Maribel picks flowers. Angelo makes a wooden spear. Ruff receives a hatchet. Oh no, that, that's not going to be good. Carver searches for firewood. Two cannon shots. Sorrow and Lazaro, the first to go. Carver goes to sleep. Tornico defeats Mina in a fight but spares her life. Aw, that's nice. Elena and Cesar talk about the tribute still alive. Terry is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. <laughs> I don't know why, I just got a vivid image of him like sitting at a fire for two seconds and then immediately getting frustrated that he can't make one and just going to bed anyway. <laughs> Maribel sets an explosive off killing Lucius. Maribel has been very violent. Which is, yeah, kind of in character, but anyway. Nier and Kirill run into each other and decide to choose for the night. Maya and Ragnar tell stories about themselves to each other. <laughs> Some nice bonding time. Yangus goes to sleep. Ruff loses sight of where he is. Isla tends to her wounds. Aurora loses sight of where she is. <laughs> Dora cries himself to sleep. <laughs> Bianca receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Desdemona climbs a tree to rest. Theresa accidentally steps on a landmine. <laughs> no! Jessica is awoken by nightmares. Angelo sets up camp for the night. Maya, Yangus, Isla, and Elena hunt for other tributes. Angelo goes hunting. Nira questions her sanity. Aurora and Jessica split up to search for resources. Ruff thinks about home. Desdemona makes a wooden spear. Doric overhears Kirill and Bianca talking in the distance. <gasps> Secret alliance. Mina constructs a shack. Terry tries to spearfish with a trident. Carver fishes. Czar receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Tornico tries to spearfish with a trident. Maribel begs for Ragnar to kill her. He refuses, keeping Maribel alive. <laughs> Two cannon shots. Lucius and Teresa. All the like main hero characters are getting killed off really fast. Carver looks at the night sky. Jessica, Ruff, Mina, Kirill, and Maya sleep in shifts. I feel like Maya and Mina have been making a lot of alliances with other people. Aurora receives clean water. Terry is unable to start a fire again. Tornico, Isla, Elena, and Nira tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. 
Aww. Ragnar passes out from exhaustion. Oh no. Yangus is awoken by nightmares. Desdemona, Dork, Bianca, and Cesar sleep in shifts. Maribel cooks her food before putting her fire out. Angelo receives clean water. So a lot of people are making alliances here. This is interesting. Terry catches Elena off guard and kills her. No! Aurora runs away from Doric. Ragnar discovers a cave. Maya, Kirill, Carver, Angelo, and Jessica hunt for other tributes. Rough Isla and Bianca hunt for other tributes. Mina picks flowers. Tornico defeats Yangus in a fight, but spares his life. Wow, Tornico. Didn't he do this before? He keeps, like, fighting people, but then not killing them. Which, again, is very- This whole thing has been, like, so in character. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised. Nira discovers a river. Cesar makes a slingshot. Maribel makes a slingshot. Desdemona tries to sleep through the entire day. One cannon shot. Elena, no! Kirill thinks about home. Cesar and Desdemona tell stories about themselves to each other. Terry goes to sleep. Pornico sets up camp for the night. Isla goes to sleep. Carver defeats Bianca in a fight, but spares her life. Don't- <laughs> Doric and Angelo hold hands. I mean, rare pair? I don't know, man. <laughs> Maribel, Maya, Nira, and Ruff tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Ragnar climbs a tree to rest. Jessica tries to treat her infection. Yangus questions his sanity. Aurora starts a fire. Mina cooks her food before putting her fire out. Cesar receives medical supply. Terry receives a hatchet. Desdemona sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Genghis receives an explosion. Maya thinks about home. Oh no, Jessica, Bianca, Carver, and Isla raid Ruff's camp while he is hunting. Oh my gosh. Poor adults just teaming up on this poor little boy and taking all his stuff. Mina camouflages herself in the bushes. Angelo defeats Tornico in a fight but spares his life. Oh, now Tornico has gotten spared. Kiro tries to sleep through the entire day. <laughs> Maribel questions her sanity. Ragnar overhears Nira and Aurora talking in the distance. Dork is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Did anybody die? I don't think anybody died. Yeah, no cannon shots today. Cesar and Maya run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Ragnar starts a fire. Jessica receives an explosive. Tornico and Bianca sleep in shifts. Dork receives clean water. Yangus receives a hatchet. Kiro loses sight of where he is. Aurora cooks her food before putting her fire out. Maribel sees a fire. Oh no, she must be near Aurora but stays hidden. Carver, Ruff, Angelo, Desdemona, and Isla sleep in shifts. Mina attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Nira destroys Terry's supplies while he is asleep. Dang, Nira. Ruff receives an explosive. Maya overhears Cesar and Desdemona talking in the distance. Mina defeats Kirill in a fight, but spares his life. None of the Dragon Quest IV characters will kill each other. <laughs> they must all be very nice. Maribel runs away from Isla. Jessica makes a slingshot. Tornico constructs a shack. Nira defeats Carver in a fight, but spares his life. Okay, I mean not to be mean, but let's stop sparing the lives. It's time to get some bloodshed out here. Angelo and Ragnar work together to drown Bianca, no! Terry searches for a water source. Aurora attacks Doric, but he manages to escape. Yangus collects fruit. One cannon shot. Poor Bianca. <laughs> Kirill and Ragnar hold hands. <laughs> Another rare pair, but... I mean, who knows, man? Who knows? Ruff sets an explosive off, killing Maya and Mina. No! At least they got to die together. Isla lets Angelo into her shelter. Desdemona tends to Doric's wounds. Jessica screams for help. Tornico is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Aurora and Maribel talk about the tribute still alive. Yangus receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Nira's trap kills Cesar! I wasn't expecting Nira to be so willing to kill people. Carver attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Terry questions his sanity. Terry injures himself. <laughs> Angelo spears Maribel in the abdomen! Oh my gosh! Bye, Maribel. Yangus searches for firewood. Carver questions his sanity. Desdemona searches for firewood. Kirill sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Nira scares Jessica off. Tornico makes a wooden spear. Ruff practices his archery. Dork picks flowers. Isla sees smoke rising in the distance, but does not investigate. Aurora sets Ragnar on fire with the Molotov. <laughs> Man, there were a good bit of kills, yeah. Maya, Mina, Cesar, Maribel, and Ragnar. Ruff and Kirill sleep in shifts. Doric thinks about winning. Very in character. <laughs> Isla tends to Terry's wounds. Carver looks at the night sky. 
Desdemona starts a fire. Jessica lets Angelo into her shelter. Oh. Aurora, Yangus, and Tornico cheerfully sing songs together. Oh, that's such a cute image. Nero screams for help. <laughs> Terry is unable to convince Jessica to not kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora receives clean water. Angelo dies from an infection. Angus and Isla hunt for other tributes. Carver and Desdemona work together for the day. Doric defeats Nera in a fight but spares her life. Kirill sees smoke rising in the distance, but does not investigate. Ruff begs for Tornico to kill him. He refuses, keeping Ruff alive. Oh, Tornico's been like the nicest in this whole thing. He, I don't think he's like even killed anyone yet. I don't know, I can't remember, but he keeps sparing people. I couldn't see him killing anyone. Two cannon shots. Terry and Angelo. Okay, so we have Aurora, Doric, Isla, Kirill, Nira, Carver, Jessica, Tornico, Desdemona, Ruff, and Yangus. So like, a little less than half the people, I think. Kirill receives fresh food, Desdemona receives a hatchet, Doric is unable to convince Isla to not kill him. What? I thought they were on the same team! I guess Isla got fed up with him. Aurora and Tornico tell stories about themselves to each other, Jessica tries to treat her infection, Nira tends to Yangus's wounds, Ruff tends to Carver's wounds. Isla, Yangus, Nira, Carver, and Ruff hunt for other tributes, Tornico picks flowers, Kirill begs for Desdemona to kill him. She refuses, keeping Kira alive. Jessica receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Aurora travels to higher ground. One cannon shot can be heard for Doric. Jessica receives clean water. Aurora defeats Tornico in a fight, but spares his life. Kiro lets Desdemona into his shelter. What's going on with Kiro and Desdemona? First he wanted to kill her. Now he's letting her into his shelter. It's the redheads. <laughs> <laughs> Isla looks at the night sky. Carver begs for Ruff to kill him. He refuses, keeping Carver alive. Genghis cries himself to sleep. <laughs> Nero receives a hatchet. Desdemona travels to higher ground. Oh no, Ruff dies from thirst. Jessica severely injures Genghis and leaves him to die. Jessica has been pretty brutal. Isla searches for firewood. Nero discovers a cave. Carver strangles Kiro with a rope. Aurora practices her archery. Tornico receives food. Three cannon shots. Ruff, Yangus, and Kirill. Jessica and Tornico tell stories about themselves. Carver tries to sing himself to sleep. Isla is awoken by nightmares. Nero loses sight of where she is. Aurora receives a hatchet. Desdemona receives clean water. Wait, are we doing it again? The feast again? I'm sorry guys, I've never actually read Hunger Games or watched the movies. I only know that it's like a battle royale thing. I don't know how it actually works. Well, apparently we're back at the cornucopia. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. But nobody goes, so Desdemona sees smoke rising in the distance. Tornico stalks Carver. <laughs> Aurora, Nira, Isla, and Jessica hunt for other tributes. Tornico and Carver tell stories about themselves to each other. Nira quietly hums. Desdemona loses sight of where she is. Aurora tries to sink herself to sleep. Jessica pushes Isla off a cliff during a knife fight. Another kill from Jessica. She's not holding back, guys. <laughs> Nira searches for a water source. Desdemona makes a wooden spear. Tornico constructs a shack. Aurora tends to Jessica's wounds. Carver dies from thirst. Two cannon shots for Isla and Carver. Jessica is awoken by nightmares. Aurora tries to sing herself to sleep. Dornico thinks about winning. Oh boy. Desdemona cooks her food. Nero stays awake all night. Desdemona discovers a river. Tornico sprains his ankle while running away from Jessica. Jessica is ruthless. Nira fishes. Aurora constructs a shack. Jessica convinces Nira to struggle with her. Jessica, what are you doing? She's like running around killing people. She's making out with people. She is just doing whatever she wants here. <laughs> Tornico thinks about winning. Desdemona cooks her fire before putting it out. Aurora receives an explosive. I know what's gonna happen. I feel like Jessica's gonna win, but I don't know, man. Tornico diverts Jessica's attention and runs away. Desdemona sees smoke rising, but doesn't investigate. Aurora diverts Nira's attention and runs away. Desdemona cries herself to sleep. Nira forces Jessica to kill Tornico Aurora. She refuses to kill, so Nira kills her instead. No! What happened, Jessica? You had all this drive, and now you just gave up. Well, looks like she's out. Tornico tends to Desdemona's wounds. Aurora receives an explosive. Nira picks flowers. One cannon shot for Jessica. I guess she wasn't gonna win. I have a feeling that Tornico is gonna come in at the end and just kill everyone. I don't know why. Nira thinks about home. Tornico tends to Aurora's wounds. 
as Simona is unable to start a fire. Tornico thinks about home, Nero receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor, Aurora collects fruit, and Desdemona is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Monkey mutts fill the arena? What is that? What the heck is a monkey mutt? Wait, let me look this up. What the heck? They're like... Creepy baboon things. Ugh, I don't like those. Well, let's see who survives the monkey mutts. Desdemona, Tornico, and Aurora survive, but Nira dies from internal bleeding. All right, we're down to the final three. I, I'm really betting on Tornico here. I feel like he's gonna win. Desdemona gets clean water. Aurora goes to sleep. Tornico tends to his wounds. Tornico and Desdemona work together for the day. Aurora receives medical supplies. Desdemona and Tornico sleep in shifts. Aurora dies from first. Oh, Desdemona. Desdemona kills Tornico with his own weapon! The winner is Desdemona from District 10! I mean, honestly, I should have expected it. Desdemona is like, stacked, guys. And I also could totally see her being ruthless enough to be like, well, we're in this situation, so time to go kill some people. <laughs> but man, I was kind of holding out my hope. I thought Tornico would be the surprise victory and that the Hunger Games would just unlock some darkness inside of him that allowed him to mercilessly slaughter <laughs> thousands of people. Okay, here's all those stats. So it looks like Jessica and Terry were at the top of the rung with the most kills. Oh my gosh. You don't think I ever did it a little, do you? So that was the Dragon Quest Heroes Hunger Games Simulation. I thought it was pretty fun. I don't know what you guys are going to think of this video. Sorry if it was kind of terrible because this is the first time I've ever done a video of this simulation. But I enjoyed making it, so I might make some more, especially if you guys enjoy it too. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment before you go and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Dragon Quest Heroes. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!